Rick back with another video. This week we're going to be using some leftover press board to do a painting. Uh, I think it's always kind of cool when you have these different shapes and sizes of, of material left over to use it. Sometimes those turn out to be really aesthetically interesting pieces. Uh, seeing how this is kind of a longer, unique piece, I thought it would be appropriate to do something kind of long and slender. So I'm actually elected to paint a snake, like a rattlesnake, striking out. Uh, so let's get right into it. Let's prime this board and get into the process step by step. So we are done with the primer stage. We're gonna give this a few minutes to dry off. And then we're actually gonna go through next, we're going to put some masking tape along the edges. That way when we go through and start spray painting or background, we have a nice clean white border. This is optional to do. I just think that the, the border look is really sharp. Uh, as you can see from some of the other pieces there in the background, having the back that, uh, that white border on the outline really helps the piece stand out. So. Again, we're gonna give us a few moments to dry off and then we're gonna move forward with our taping and spray paint. All right guys, we got our taped corners for our nice clean white border. And we've gone through and we have done our background color, which is obviously yellow with these uh, acrylic spray paints that you can pick up at any craft store. Uh, these iron lac spray paints, I really like them a lot. Uh, they just work better than traditional spray paint and they're kind of more for artistic type of use. So we highly recommend them if you are someone who is getting into spray painting and, and acrylic painting. So I know I wanted to paint a snake on this piece due to it being kind of a long and slender canvas. Uh, while we were allowing the primer to dry, I went through and I actually created a quick sketch of what I wanted to do and ended up settling on this. Uh, so what I think what we wanna do is I did some research and I thought it would be really cool to do kind of like an updated version of the Gadsden flag, which you guys have probably seen before. Uh, it's been used for a lot of different reasons. I thought it'd be really cool to do kind of like an updated version to pay homage to it. And so the yellow fits in perfectly with that. So we're gonna give this a few minutes to dry off and then we are gonna go in and put some base colors down for our snake and uh, get going on it. So while this is drying, let's go out and see how the horses are doing. guys so we got our white background here for our snake it's very rudimentary it's primarily just used to keep us on track with uh, our framing of the snake itself what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna use our two gray paints here uh, we're gonna do with the lighter of the two next 
lay that sucker down, and then we're gonna go over the top with it uh, on selective parts with a darker shade. And hopefully this will create a really cool two-tone. And then lastly, we're gonna go in with our black paints and an ink marker for the fine details of the black outline. guys uh made a few mistakes obviously with a spelling error and so i'm going through and covering up some spray paint uh to to fix that uh one other thing that i noticed when i was going through is that there seems to be some weird anatomical things with uh this part of the snake so i'm actually going to go through and just uh add some mass to it because uh, it looks a little unusual right now adding some weight on the back half will i believe make the shape of the snake uh, more symmetrical, uh, add a little bit more visual interest and make it look more, a little bit more anatomically correct. So we're gonna go through and do that. Uh, long story short is, you know, you're gonna make mistakes with paintings, any piece or art. You gotta roll with the punches, uh, not get overwhelmed, uh, not let it defeat you and figure out how you're gonna move forward and, and make the piece make the piece work. So let's get into fi making these fixes and move right along. Alright guys, it's the end of day one. I feel like this is a good stopping point, so let's leave it alone for today and come back tomorrow. We'll finish up the detail work and get this baby wrapped up. So guys, I came in to try to relax on my favorite beanbag chair. Unfortunately, someone decided that he wanted to use it. So this is what I got to compete with every night. Obviously, there's no shame, there's no guilt.
So there you guys have it. This is the final piece. I put up the original just for reference. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. It's kind of a simple piece, but it was a lot of fun. Obviously there were some mistakes along the way, but overall pretty satisfied. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you could do me a favor and make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'll be posting every Tuesday night. And so we'll see you next time.